Uh, John Ashton, Director of Public Health for Cymru. And as a public health person, I, I'm concerned about everybody who's dying. Um, in 1984, I did a report on public health in the Mersey region, which is the first regional public health report, and I had 10 priorities for health promotion for Mersey. And the first one was planned parenthood, and the 12th one was dignity and comfort at the time of death. And the managers in Mersey Regional Health Authority thought I was mad having mm. dignity and comfort at the time of death as a health promotion objective. But of course, you know, from a public health point of view, everyone's dying, mm. dying at some point. Mm. And it's a priority from the point of view of the person doing the dying for it to be good. Mm. And for the people who are left behind for it to be done well, because mm. that's in public health terms tertiary prevention. Mm. If you don't get that right, you cause other problems. They also didn't think I could have 12 priorities, which was interesting, because it was too many. And they always say that in the health service, mm. and they, you know, you, think you have three. And, and if you know anything about public health, you realise that's impossible. <laughs> uh, and, and it took me years to come up with the trite response to that, which was, which of the Ten Commandments is optional? <laughs> and it's only since the 1970s that, that so many people have been living to 80, 85, 90. That's when it started to happen in a big way that we are, we are adapting to that now. Because more and more and more people have been living to 85, 90 and into the night. It seems to me from my personal experience with my family and all of them, you know, because most of my parents, my mother's lot, have all lived to be between 90 and 95. But there's, there's something about 92 where everyone really starts to crumble in a big way. And, and you know, and so you've got everybody coming up against this wall at the same time, you know, which must be putting a huge pressure on the health services as we get to that point now, from 1970 till now. It's taken from then to so many people to be crushing up against this 92, 93 wall. So they're all now getting called out for ambulances, and it's, it's interesting. So I think, you know, we're beginning to respond to that as a society. So culturally, you know, you need to take an anthropological, historical view on how we have coped with things in the past, how the, the things have changed. And how they, you know, if, you, if you compare it with um, teenage pregnancy, sexual behaviour changed, changed dramatically in the 60s. It's taken us 30 years to adapt. Um, teenage pregnancy rates have come right down now, but it's taken us 30 years to get to that point where the behaviour of parents actually talking to their children about sex mm -hmm. has made a big difference. It's taken 30 years to get to that point. And so when you come to the resource question mm -hmm. as a challenge, I don't think it's a challenge. I think it's a question of making sure you're riding the wave mm -hmm. and giving the wave a push and reorientating the services. As this work snowballs, which, is, which it will, because it's in the right place at the right time, um, and we're talking about the reorientation of training of all sorts of people and the full engagement of the community, then you know, this is a five, 10, 15 year project. Uh, but there are levers to pull, and one of them that I'd just draw your attention to, we might talk about later, is the local edu education and training boards which are being set up, because they are ch they're gonna be <coughs> investing all the education and training money for healthcare and influencing social care for training of nurses and doctors and everybody else. And they're charged with the alignment of the public health, the health care and the social care agendas uh, and relations with the local authorities as well. Uh, and in as much as this is potentially a win-win, there's begun to, people have begun to talk about that, they've been scared to talk about that before, but, mm. but basically getting this right is probably cheaper than getting it wrong.